Poor, can you smell that? No? Well, I'll tell you what, you have a close sniff. Go on, go on, go on. Oh dear, steady there, steady. Time now for Get Your Own Back! <laughs> If you have, this is the show to bring them to. Just like our two contestants for today, will you please welcome for the yellow team, 12 year old Sophia Smith! <laughs> Boys, by the way, off you go, lads. Off you. Hello, Sophia. Welcome to the show. Hello. All right, and we're going to find out who she gets her own back on. Get ready. Will you please welcome her mum, Mrs. Lynn Smith? <laughs> oh, bring forth the bad one. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, oh, she's looking a bit mean in there. I better hurry up with this one. We're going to find out why Sophia wants to get her own back on her mum. I want to get my own back on my mum. And so would you if she was your mum. Oh, no. We're almost out of sugar. Oh, no. And we've run out of milk. Help. Time for a trip to the supermarket. This is it. The supermarket. Now this is why I want to get my own back with my mum. Can you believe it? My mum sings up for when she goes to the supermarket. And if that's not bad enough, she finishes off with the Highland Flame. <laughs> Let me get my own back on my mum, Swindon's Pavarotti. Well, we've seen her sing, we've seen her dance, but would you like to see her do both at the same time? Yeah! Yes, of course you would. And that's your challenge, Lynn. OK. Land of my home forever! <laughs> oh. <laughs> short, short, sweet and very hard. Time now for us to meet our opposition. Will you please welcome on the side of the blue team, 11-year-old Lara Starr! <laughs> Lara Starr! Lara Starr, here you are, Lara Starr. Oh, thanks a lot, lads. Right. Lara, hello, hello, and welcome to the show. Listen, how are you feeling? OK. OK, time now to meet the person who she wants to get her own back on, a mum's friend. Get ready, Laura McCall! <laughs> Mean Keen, and she's now on our screen. We're now going to find out why Lara wants to get her own back on Laura. I want to get my own back on my mum's friend, WPC Laura McCall. She's nothing but trouble. She teases me and says I can't play my trumpet in tune. Laura also has a karaoke machine and persuaded me to join in with the Spice Girls. But this sneaky Spice secretly recorded my performance and threatened to send the tape to the local radio station. So I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I want a gun for this sporty spice look like. So have you got anything to say in your defence, madam? I deny it totally. Oh, deny it totally. That's a strange thing for a police person to do, isn't it? Isn't that terrible? Listen, isn't it great seeing her behind bars? Yeah. Yes, it is. OK, we're going to play some amazing games here on Get Your Own Back, but before any of that, take a look at this! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Look at this. What does it say? It says splat. Yes, that's right. One of our grown-ups is going to be doing just that in that tank of gunge. But before any of that, our children and adults have to play the games. The children have to score as many points as possible, whilst our grown-ups will try and stop that from happening. But it is the child with the most amount of points who gets that chance to get their grown-up in the gunge. Who's it going to be? Is it going to be PC Laura? Or is it going to be our opera singing mum? Let's find out as we play round one! Okay, let's get things off to a bouncing good start. 
with our first round game. It is called Slam Dunk. I say go. Our two young ladies have to bounce around on these stepping stones, grabbing a ball and trying their best to put it in those basketball nets behind me. And in the middle, and I've got to show you this, right, are our two adults, as you can see, dressed in their favourite pyjamas. And they've got to bounce up and down on the big red spot in an effort to make them fall off, OK? Ten points for every ball in that basket. The game lasts one minute. Get ready. Three, two, one, go! All right! All right, they go. Now, this game is a lot harder than it looks, especially when you've got a crocodile bouncing in the middle. OK. There you go. One ball each so far. Oh, that one went straight through. That's it. Oh, that was close. That's it. Get them in. And as you can hear, sports fans, the crowd is going wild. That's it. That's it. Once you fall off, you've got to go back and start again. OK, less than 10 seconds. Remember, the more balls you get in, the more shots you have. Okay, that's right up in the gut. Two seconds, one second. Stop! Stop! OK, that's lovely. You stay right there, Sophia. Lynn, you sit right where you are and take that well-earned rest. Time now to count these ear balls. Get ready. One, oh, two, here we go, three. And three left in there, so that's a grand total there of 60 points! I'm going to count these balls. Get ready. One, oh, two, here we go. Three, four, last one, five. Well done. A score there of 50 points. <laughs> Time now for our second round game. And this game is very special because it was designed for us by Andrew Bryce, who lives in Carl Salton. It's called Squeal on the Wheel. Yes, 45 seconds of shit. Torture. Why? Because we strap our adult, in this particular case, PC Laura, to our wheel here. We spin around, and young Laura has to chuck loads of balls, and if she lands them on her team colour section, she will score points. Ten points, to be precise. And even if she gets them on the bullseye, she gets ten points as well. Are you ready for this? OK, make them squeal, spin that wheel! <laughs> Can you do it? Oh! Yeah, we got one on the blue. Well done. Keep going. That's it. Lots of encouragement going. Yes, she's got another one on the blue. Nice one. Oh! Yes, indeed. She's got this down to a fine art, everybody. Get ready. Less than 10 seconds. That's it. Go and reach for those balls. Reach for those balls, Laura. Two seconds left. One second. That's it. <laughs> Game over. Listen, you all right there? Yeah. <laughs> I bet you're not. All right, let's just count and see how many you've got. We'll start here first of all. We've got here one, two, three, just behind you. Four, five, six. Well done. Where does that one come from? <laughs> A seven there. Well done. A score there on 70 points. <laughs> Now it's Lynn's turn to squeal on the wheel while Sophia is on with the balls. Now remember, to score, you've got to get your balls on the yellow section, right? 70 points or more. Get ready, it all starts now! That's it, make them squeal, spin that wheel. One's on the blue, they're all on the blue at the moment. Try and land them on the yellow. On the yellow to score. Or on the bullseye. Oh! One so far. So close. I think he's got this down now to a fine hour. That's the seconds tick away. She's trying all sorts of tactics here. She's doing a lot of lobbing. Big tick, though. The, gen the more gentle you throw it, the more chance it'll have to land on less than 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Game over. Stop. Hey, nice try. Are you all right, eh? Sure. Sure. <laughs> Blinking away. All right, we're going to find out just how many you scored. Get ready for this. Get ready. Here we go. If I start there, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. Well done, Sophie. You got yourself there. 60 points. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And 
She looks very pleased. She looks pleased indeed. Time now to take a look at those overall scores after this amazing round. Sophia of the Yellows has scored 120 points, but get this! Lara of the Blues has also scored 120 points! <laughs> That's right. And what Laura has to do is to feed Big Baby Laura, because Laura's inside here. Aren't you, Laura? Yes. That's right. And Big Baby Laura does not want to be fed, but it's going to have to be. Why? Because Laura is going to get hold of this food here and chuck it in the baby's mouth. 45 seconds to get as much food as you can in Big Baby's mouth. It all starts now! <laughs> okay, that's it. Grab a bit of food. And oh! That's it. Oh, my food in the mouth. What do we do? We give a cheer. Nice one. There you go. Go and get that food in. Get it in the gob. Oh, no. Baby's turned in the opposite direction. Oh, close one. Go on, get it in there, Lara. Look at this. Oh, less than 10 seconds now. Coming up to five seconds. Four. Well done. OK, that's it. Stop, baby Laura. We've got to check and find out how much food you got in there. Get ready. Tell you what, if you can bend down this way, if you can come down a bit. Lovely. Get ready. One, two, whoop, three, four, oh, five, six, seven. That's it. Well done, Laura. A score there on 70 points. Come on, stop it, stop it. We're going to get you fed in the... Oh, please! Did you hear that? Didn't even say pardon me. Anyway, time now for Sophia to feed big baby Lynn. you got 45 seconds. Get ready. It all starts now! OK. Oh, look at this. Straight away. Nice bit of food there in the mouth. And believe me, this is quite an incredible game. As Big Baby doesn't want to be fed, but Sophia's doing the best to feed the baby. Woo! Oh, that's it. Oh, out went the banana. She's going for a bigger bunch now. Oh, trying to hang on to baby. Now, I'll tell you what, there's not much food in this bowl left. Chucking that burger, and we've got five seconds to go. Four, three, two, one. There you are. The baby's on its knees. Let's count the food. Get ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Check this out. You got 100 points! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. OK, time now to take a look at those overall scores after this feeding frenzy. It looks like this. Lara of the Blues has scored 190 points, but in the lead with a whopping 220 points is Sophia of the Yellows. Well, things are looking very good for you so far, aren't they, Laura? <laughs> Yeah, I don't uh, think I'm going to be going in that. Oh, of course you are. Just take a close look at that, because you never know, Laura, my love. You might be proceeding in a very southwardly direction. <laughs> All right. All right, time for you to go over there and take your position for our next <laughs> game. It's a great old game, this one. It is called Motor Mania. Let me explain. I say go. Our child has to head down the course with the remote control car, up and over the ramp towards that finish line. If they can do that, they get themselves 10 points. But stopping them in their very own remote controlled X car is Laura. Are you ready with the car over there. I'm ready, Dave. Uh, are you ready, Laura? Yeah. Of course you are. Let me get me flag. You got three attempts to do as well as you can. Get ready. Three, two, one, go! Oh! oh, straight over the line then. Laura, what happened? What happened? Look at that face of total confusion. Get ready. Attempt two. Three, two, one, go! Up and over the to the end. Is that how you normally drive your squad cars? That's quite <laughs> frightening, that is. All right, get ready. You got 20 points so far. Third and final attempt. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> oh, over the oh! oh! Oh, Laura, that's terrible. What can I 
to say she smacked into you, she took you away from the line, but you've done very well, though. You got yourself 20 points! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Motomania part two. This time it's the yellow. Sophia, are you ready with your car? Yeah. Okay, Lynn, are you ready with your car? Yep, song and dance now of a very different kind. Get ready. First attempt. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> oh, look at that, Lynn. Oh, God. Don't make faces like that. Don't make faces like that. You were slow off the mark. Get ready. Second attempt. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Well done to you, Sophia. Lynn, if you want to keep out of that gunch, believe me, you're going to have to clash, all right? Get ready. Third and final attempt. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Three attempts, three successful passes past the line there. A total score of 30 points! Yeah! Yes! Is she pleased? I think so. But now it's time to take a look at the scores after that round. It looks like this. Lola of the Blues has scored 210 points. But in the lead, with a whopping 250 points, is Sophia of the Yellows! Great game this is. It's called Tidy Up. I say go. Our two children have to clear all the rubbish from here by very simply getting it like this. All right, me duck. And passing it through the bottom windows. But on the other side, there will be a grown-up. In this case, Lynn, who will be chugging it through the top parts. Oh, very well done. That's lovely. Now, at the end of this game, which lasts one minute, it is the rubbish on this side of the wall that makes the points. That's right. 20 points per item of rubbish. Are you ready for this? Of course you are. Right, Laura, are you ready? I'm ready. Lovely. Right, you two, you ready for this? Yeah. OK, get ready. Three, two, one, go! Let's yeah. it now. Fast and furious. And I'm going to get out of the way. And as you can tell, the top window where the grown-ups have to chuck the rubbish back is covered in bungees so as to make it a little bit difficult. Try this sort of game at home. <laughs> Just don't tell your parents, that's all. Oh, look. Less than ten seconds, seven seconds, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's <laughs> it. Game over. Game over. Oh, wow. Hey, there's a lot of rubbish here. There was a lot of rubbish. I'm going to count this rubbish. Get ready. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Here we go. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, you dear. <laughs> Eight. Not going too well. Nine. Oh, ten. <laughs> Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Oh, this is scary. <laughs> Lynn, this is so scary. Would you like to know how much she has scored? No. Yeah, well, I'm going to tell you, she has scored a total now of 260 points! Oh, well done, Well done! All right! Coming round, coming round, Cosby. Here we go. Oh, goodness me. Where do we begin over here? Get ready. We'll start here. Ready? One, oh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Big love. Eight. Get ready. Nine. Ten. Oh no, not going to count that. That's still there. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Get this seventeen. And this last one, eighteen. Would you like to know how much she scored? You wouldn't, would you? You wouldn't. I'm going to tell you. She has scored on that one there. Three hundred and sixty points. <laughs> And now it's time to find out those overall scores. It sounds like this. This is great. So, Peter of the Yellows has scored 510 points, but today's winner with an amazing 570 points is Lara of the Blues! Ah, oh, yes. Well, we're going to be seeing you two in a moment.
on, man. But as for you two, have you both enjoyed being here? Yes. yes. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for being here. I get you're just feeling that Lynn is going to sing for joy, aren't you? I am, yes. Oh, joy. I get the oldest feeling we wouldn't be able to stop your man from singing anyway, but listen, we're going to give you a couple of mementos. Here's one for you. This is the Get Your Own Back photograph to remind you of your day here. And I'm going to show this off for you now. Your very own Get Your Own Back jacket. Please give it up for them. Sophia and Lynn. Yes. Yes. <laughs> But as for you two, as for you two, especially you, Laura, it's time for you to proceed to the gun dunk! Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, Revenge fans, now it's time to see WPC Laura in the plop. <laughs> yes, this is the lady that really embarrassed you by sending a tape of you singing a Spice Girls song to a local radio station, and you're about to get your own back. But before then, I'm going to ask Laura three questions. For every question she gets right, she stays where she is, but if she gets them wrong, she gets taken away and up from the gunge. So it could be a case of she comes in from a great height. Let's find out how she does. Get ready, first question. Before EastEnders, which children's program did Paul Nichols appear in? Everyone, shh. You know, don't you? Pass. Pass! Absolutely wrong. What was it? The Biz! That's right, the Biz. You knew that. What do we do? <laughs> That's right. Crank her up, Laura. Crank her up. Way. Oh, there she goes. Yeah. Any moment now, PC in the plop. <laughs> All right, get ready. Second question, pop question. Who is known as Baby Spice? Uh, Emma. But I need the full name. Too late. It's in fact it's Emma Bunton. Yeah, you all knew that. What do we do? Crank it up. Go on, crank it up. Crank it up. There she goes. <laughs> Third and final question. Settle down. Get ready. Which character did Jim Carrey play in Batman Forever? You know, right? The Joker. No! In fact, it was the Riddler! Ah, she got it wrong! What do we do? Oh, yes, we crank it up! Up you go! Go on! Yes! Yes! <laughs> get this! WPC Laura is about to go down! Get ready to get your own back! Pull that lead there! You've got your own back. How do you feel? Great. You feel great. You look great. There you go. This is for you. And get your own back trophy cloth. And you get your own back jacket. Give it up for Laura. Go on, give her a big round of applause. All right. All right. Time now for us to say goodbye. But do join us again real soon for more games and more adventures in guns. Bye-bye. Yeah. Oh,